In the beginning, there was the one great, and from that sprang life, including the greater will, and eventually, the Elden Ring. The ring is the key to the universe, to its ultimate purpose. It is that which gives meaning to everything. When the ring has been sealed, it becomes a part of the whole. Only one who has ever held it can use it to open the will. Those who do not have the ring cannot change their fate, nor can they ever destroy it. As the one ring grows and is used, its power grows, making its way into the world. Its power will soon make itself known to all of existence. There are those who would use the power of that ring to enslave the entire world, but that would only be a for a time, for the dragons would fade and Marika would arrive. She and the dragon children are both needed to fulfill the ultimate purposes of humanity. Marika's will be reunited with her sister, Ellerin. Together they will stop the evil that is trying to destroy the children of Earth. Until then, remember that the only time you can have your own will is when under the thumb of the greater will. Soon, Marika's personality split in two, creating her male half, Radagon. He will lead the conquest of all the races of EA. This is what the greatest hero of our time has come to, a hero with the honor, power and strength of the One. Once he has completed the quest, he will return to his original self, which is now the true Marika. However, prior to Radagon, there was Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Godfrey was chosen to lead humanity as the son of a great leader, King Ionis, who was killed fighting for what he believed to be right. His son, Godwin, is also the hero who has gone before. Before Godwin's death, his brother, Hord, was also killed. With his sons dead, Godfrey was pushed away by the Elder Lord of Rood. Because of this, it is believed that Godfrey's sacrifice led to a change of rulers, this time the new Elder Lords would be more corrupt than the old ones. Due to this change, Marika and Radagon ruled together, perpetuating the age of gold trees. They are now known as Radibus, or Radibu. Their goal is to rule the great city of Eldin, from which the rest of the elves will be pulled by force. If they fail, they will all perish. The one thing they cannot do is destroy their own source of power, the Elden Ring. But they are unable to keep the ring from being destroyed because of their love for it, so they have to find another source to use their power. A very powerful source, one that will allow them to make their goals easier, without the use of the precious ring, the crucible is allowed to creep its way back into the land. In the name of Radgar, God is the Eternal and there is nothing more. Only the hope that the old gods may return. Godfriar's Handbook Number 3 the old god has returned. Now, he is coming for you. It's a good thing he's bringing the the flames of ruin in his knapsack. So what would you do if your whole life was being ruined by a corrupt leader? You'd go to the old gods, asking for his help and you would find that you were being used and abused by him. Your future would have been as a slave, being forced to do his bidding and at the whim of the ring and will. So, what are we to do now? This will determine the fate of your life. I will guide you, as I am the only one who knows your weaknesses. Use the will of God in conjunction with your own, or let the ring consume you from the inside out. If you let God alone, I shall give you the means to an end, a means to change the current age of golden trees. I will let you live a life of ease, your body consumed by a fire of burning love that burns you until your bones melt and the water you drink flows into your veins. Then, you will be free, as I have already been. You will rise from your ashes, stronger than you were, and will take hold of the ring for yourself. Or, if you feel that you are too weak to take control, then you could use your strength as a gift to the world to aid humanity in its battle against the dragons. For the most part, anyone can do this quest. It is very easy. Just make sure that your weapon can slay a god, for if it cannot, you will die. Your love of your brother will eventually lead you to this path. Use your will to unite your heart with that of an entire race, to fight for justice, love and freedom. 
You will go to the end of it all. If you do not, then you may return us to the time of the crucible, where we can be reborn with a greater purpose to save the world. I, God Fry, as I am known as by my friends, am the last living soul of my race. My friends know that I have been lying dead for thousands of years. In this world I was supposed to die, yet I have lived. I had always feared the return of my life because I felt that it would bring about the end of everything, to return the world to the chaos that was before. Yet now I know it to not be so, because now there are other plans. And now, my new friends, I leave the role of ring bearer to you. Defeat that golden tree. <laughs>